This is the IFF TV Podcast. Before we begin this video, we just want to speak about our new partnership with the mobile sports app called Locker. Locker is a new sports app whose mission it is to centralise premium sports content and put the power in the hands of fans to personalise their world of sport from sources they love and trust. It's recently launched and is available in UK and Irish app stores. It's free to download and it's great for football fans. So ahead of the internationals, give it a download and let us know what you think. We will be announcing more about this partnership in the coming weeks. But you can go, you can list your favourite club, whether it's in the Premier League, whether it's in the Scottish League, whether it's in League of Ireland. And you can have all your stuff listed in a feed designated to you and you can get push notifications as well to your club so check it out it's free to download and the link is in the bio hello welcome to irish football fan tv we are here vlogging our trip it's scotland versus the republic of Ireland. we're going to vlog from dublin airport the match the press conferences everything we want you to see our journey over to scotland our whole time in glasgow so stay tuned and join us on this journey so we've checked in we've got the fast track security thank god um Got in very quick, in and out, having a coffee, having a bit of breakfast just before we board our flight. So uh, we'll be over in Glasgow soon enough. So we just landed in Glasgow here at the airport. We're just going to um, get a taxi to the hotel. The guy says, checked in relax a little bit. I got about 10 minutes sleep on the flight um, and I got rudely awakened by that uh, crash landing, um, I suppose, <laughs> entrance to Glasgow. But hopefully uh, Ireland can uh, be like that now tomorrow night and at the game. But uh, we're going to head in a taxi now to the hotel, which is uh, quite central and by the train station. And then we're going to go meet Gary down at Celtic Park uh, and do the match preview down there. So we just uh, got the train there to, from Glasgow Central to uh, Dilmarnock. We have to walk 14 minutes to Celtic Park, but it is in sight so we can see it. We're going to meet Gary there and we're going to do a match preview there. And we're going to do it outside the stadium just to kind of give that cool backdrop. So that's where we're headed um, and that's all we know for now. I'm walking back, I'm about 10 minutes walk away. Oh, for Christ's sake. I'll see you in 10 minutes, right? The ground is out on its own. I couldn't miss. Anyway, I'm not far away now, but... Okay. No bother. I'll see you, see you shortly, right? We're, we're just up by the, the right. superstore. That's grand. Yeah, no, I'll come and find you, yeah? All right, no worries. See you okay. soon. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> yeah, Gary, he got off at the wrong stop there, so uh, he said he's t walking 10 minutes back this way, so I'm just giving him a little bit of a hard time because... Usually he's the one that's early and usually I'm the one that's late, so I'm just kind of getting my own back now, you know. So he'll be here shortly. We're going to film outside Celtic Park, the wonderful Celtic Park. We've just been in the Superstore. I got a nice, lovely new hat. Republic of Ireland, Scotland, Hamden Park tomorrow. But we just said we do here as um, Celtic Park. Like, I mean, what a backdrop that is. Oh, here he is, 15 minutes late. Sorry about that. Jesus, it brought me way over there. How are you? You all right? Grant, good, good to yeah. see you. Good to see you. Take care. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're here at Celtic Park. It's Scotland versus the Republic of Ireland in the UEFA Nations League. Gary, it's our first time doing one of these, you know, away from home. Yeah, how was last night? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I went out to Morton and Air in the Scottish Challenge Cup, or I think they call it the SPFL Trust Trophy, you know, whatever it is. Um, won all, three red cards, went to penalties, the home side Morton won on penalties. And uh, a couple of ex-League of Ireland guys on, on show as well. Uh, Jace Caboya came off the bench, Darrell O'Connor, ex Wexford, and uh, the other Darrell O'Connor. Hello, How's it going? <laughs> to stay out What's pool. going on? you doing the tour? Trying to stay out the pool. Again, oh, this is my like fourth time to do it. Okay. <laughs> Every time we play over here, I do the tour. So, so you may as well. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, so we've just touched down in uh, Mount Florida there. We've got the, the train from our hotel to here. It's a seven minute walk to Hamden Park. We're gonna go, we're gonna attend the press conference. It's the manager and the player, our captain. Um, so we're gonna go, we're gonna attend that. Uh, we might attend uh, a bit of the training as well. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna come back and we're gonna make our way to the hotel and find a, a spot to watch the 20 minutes. In, in the press conference room there, John Egan and Stephen Kenny spoke to the media. Now we're going out to watch the first 15 minutes of training. We're just here at Hamden, so follow us. We got to see the, the press conference, John Egan and Stephen Kenny. Then uh, there was the first 15 minutes, probably a bit more than 15 minutes of training. And uh, yeah, it was eventful and it was fun. So there's some good clips there. And yeah, now we're going to find somewhere to watch the under 21s. So we're waiting on a bit of pizza here in, uh, I think it's called Hoagies. Nice little bar. We're going to enjoy the game here because we're just going to catch up on a bit of work. Israel will take the lead here. It's uh, just before half time of the under 21s game. Uh, we have to go back and do a bit of work as well to upload a bit more and then uh, we have a game to play tomorrow as well so as much as we want to go and probably enjoy ourselves we have to play that match tomorrow so tomorrow will probably be more of a day of enjoying ourselves and mixing in a bit more but tonight we have things to do so that's where we're going to probably leave it for the day and um, hopefully the under 21s can uh, come back in it in the second half and we hope to we'll probably miss about 10 minutes of the second half um, at the start and then hopefully catch the rest of the game hopefully get back in it and end the toy or the first leg on the on a bit of a high and uh, take that over to Israel. So yeah, um, stay tuned for the rest of this journey. So I just got a haircut. He kind of butchered me a little bit, a big stupid line on my head now. Um, <laughs> well, worse than it was before. We are on the way to play the Ireland fans versus the Scottish fans. Uh, we're on the bus now, so um, just a breakfast, fresh and go. Got our boots. Got new shin pads because I forgot mine on flight. So yeah, we're on our way to do that, and then we're hopefully interact with a few of the fans from obviously the the matches. So that hopefully we get the results, and that uh, then takes the momentum into the game later. So that's that's the crack for now. So we're just here at hand and obviously the atmosphere is starting to build up now. We were in uh, Malone's and a couple of pubs around there with the Irish fans and uh, now it's obviously match time and uh, great buzz. It's great to see the supporters mixing between the two and there's no hassle, no trouble. I haven't seen any trouble, nothing but goodwill between both sets of supporters. And yeah, as I said, we're going to head into the stadium now and uh, hopefully it's uh, a win for the Republic of Ireland. And hopefully it's a good day out, so yeah, stay with us, uh, we'll have some clips throughout the game, and goals and this and that, so yeah.
Ray Barris just scored, but we don't know if it's been real or not. The ref is checking it. He's VAR, but hopefully it's, he might have been offside there when he got the ball. So I think he's given offside, yeah, so no go. John Egan with the goal. Laurel McCullough, professional boxer here, by the way. And Nick Penner. What did you think? Yeah, did we hear from the goal? Uh, it was great first half. And uh, I think it's a little like, I think it's been a better than the third. And, uh, Limited them to a lot. I think one knows the fair result, what do we do? Yeah, so far, I mean, we've limited them to not very much, so. I mean, I'll take it. Like, some, some atmosphere here as well, isn't it? Atmosphere is unbelievable. They, they haven't had many chances. They have no chances, in fact. So, uh, probably we'll keep it going. Yeah, well, exactly. Seven points. Yeah, well, seven. Well, if we won, it's not so how many you've had before the game, was it? Uh, about ten points. Yeah. Ah, well, I suppose, look, half time, John Egan, 1 0. We're going good. Here's to, a, here's to a better second half now. Absolutely. Consistency. Absolutely. Top man. Thank you. He seemed to give them a lot. He's still booking people now. He seemed to make the rest of the game all about him. Um, it's a good performance, in my opinion, from Ireland, but we just got no luck in this game. And it's hard when your best players aren't playing at club level. So, yeah, look, 2-1. We go back to the drawing board, but we'll have more reaction when we get out of the stadium. So, after walking about an hour back from Hamden, we're about five minutes from our hotel room, thank God, because my feet are in bits and I have to find that match today. So, we obviously lost the game 2-1, uh, so quite deflated. Still have to go and make videos and content for it. But, um, yeah, look, should go and check them out because uh, I've kind of gone into detail about the, the game and everything like that, and I don't want to go back into it again. But we're going to go back. I'm going to decide whether I want to drown my sorrows or not, but my legs are that painful now, so I might just give it a rest, so, yeah, that's been it really for the day, we're going to, uh, I'd probably go for a couple of points and, and see how I feel then, but uh, for today, we're wrapping up. So. Um, as far as weekends go, it's been one of the best weekends I've ever had, um, Glasgow was brilliant, the only thing I would complain about is the closing of uh, pubs so early. Um, you know, there was times where we were finished up doing stuff and we went to go to a pub to 
have a few points and before we knew it we were getting kicked out of everywhere so that would be my only complaint and obviously the two uh, two results with obviously the fans match losing that and then obviously the, the, the main game in which we lost as well which was unfortunate because we put in such a good performance and um, just just didn't get the results it was just one of those days um, but overall what an amazing trip what an amazing city and um, the Scottish fans were all anyone we met were all so nice um, any of the people we met in any of the shops we were in, like we were in the Celtic store there. We've been in shops all weekend and, and everyone's just been wishing us well, you know, opposition fans, even Rangers fans, wishing us well and, and just saying nice things and, and saying a lot of nice stuff about uh, Irish fans and stuff like that. So I think overall in terms of trips, um, it's, it's definitely right up there in terms of football trips that I've been on. Uh, yeah, um, here's to the next one. Obviously we want to hope for, for a better result next time, but uh, yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, I think you can look back through all the footage that we got and um, let us know what you think and, and let us know your thoughts in the comments and should we do more stuff like this and would you like to maybe get involved in these videos with us and, and be a part more so of the, of the vlogs and stuff like that. So let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah.